My name's Dr Claire Grinnett and I'm an Associate Professor here at Forensic and Crime Science Department in Staffordshire University. My area of expertise is in trace evidence which includes fibres and recently I've been applying my forensic fibre knowledge and, and research into a new area which is in the analysis of microplastics from deep sea environments. I've been working on a project with the University of Oxford and also the University of Bristol in looking at whether um, these microplastics are being ingested by organisms that are found sort of deep down in the ocean. So the partners in this project sort of used research ships in order to be able to gather sediment from depths up to 1,700 metres and they brought up organisms from those depths and dissected those to see whether actually was there any microfibers or microbeads present within the organisms and this work has actually proven that they are being ingested at these deep levels. My work at Staffordshire University has been about helping to put in a robust and reliable method in order to be able to analyse these samples and retrieve them. Uh, forensic science is, is all about contamination prevention and robust analysis in order to go to the courts of law and fibre analysis is, is a perfect example of how we have to try to monitor and reduce contamination for in, in case work. So in fact we've taken that approach and we've applied it to working on a ship and being able to take these organisms, being able to actually dissect them in, in a clean environment and then extracting these, these microfibers and mounting them in appropriately in, in, on, a, on a microscope slide just like this so that they can be analysed and we are uh, content that these are free from contamination. What we've also been doing is looking at the approaches that forensic scientists use in order to be able to analyse fibres, such as polarised light microscopy, and this is, this is a polarised light microscope here, um, in order for them to be able to be categorised. So to be able to say what are the, what are the microfibres, what type, and what characteristics do they have, so we can get more of a feeling of where these might have come from. So this research for the first time has, has proved that these microplastics are in the deep sea, they're in deep sea sediment, but now they're also being ingested by these organisms that we've looked at. And that has got huge implications to how much contamination that our, our sea, our marine life actually has. So hopefully this is going to push more research into microbeads analysis, microfiber analysis and how we can try to monitor and, and reduce this contamination out in the environment.